So okay. you you found that coaching and babysitting kind yeah. of brought you to teaching. Huh? Yeah. Tell me about that. Um, so I was really into sports, like growing up all through high school and everything. And then um, once I graduated, I didn't really get a chance. I'm kind of like a little shy, a little reserved to like join my own team to play. So when my little sister got a little bit older, um, we joined the Y and some other like um, softball teams, basketball teams. And I was like, well, you know what? I do like sports. So why don't I coach them? And then the minute I learned that I could teach them something that I know and then watch them actually use it and like get excited about it, I just, it just made me really happy. So I was like, well, okay, like I really like this. I enjoy it. Let me try more. So then I kept going and I really love it. I love working with the kids and seeing them really try hard. Um, it just, it's kind of like a passion of mine now. And then um, once I moved to Texas, I wanted some extra um, money. So my mom had known this family around here and they have a little girl with Rett syndrome and she wasn't able to communicate with us. She only kind of would like point or make some um, noises and stuff. So she was very dependent and taking care of her just really showed me that, you know, even if a child does have um, a slow slowness in learning and or a disability it doesn't define them um because they truly are individuals that will make their own way you know like she she figured out a way to communicate with me and now um my niece who my parents had just recently adopted they got custody of her she's also showing signs of um like a speech development delay and so we've gotten a chance to through kind of the court systems and um, CPS, we were able to get her into speech therapy. So then once we were learning the tools about how to, you know, help her grow and learn more, like it just kind of struck another little passion in me. And I was like, okay, this is great. This is fun. Like she's actually learning words and now she's almost to the point to where she is at, supposed to be um, with her talking and stuff. So it's just, it's just really fun to see them learn and it like click in their mind and all of a sudden they're like all excited and you're like, I did that, you know, like it's cool. It's really fun. So yeah. Yeah, so that, that correlates to another comment that you made in your essay about how for you, it's mm -hmm. like you make that connection, you see it in these kids and that is like the ultimate for you. Yeah, it, it's very satisfying. It's very like rewarding and you feel very accomplished with it. So I, I figured I've kind of always had like a thing with um, wanting to like explore the education world, but I always kind of stuck to like the healthcare route. Like I'm working at, um, I'm a pharmacy technician at CVS. And I always thought that was kind of my route and I thought I want to do it. But then I realized when I wasn't pursuing it aggressively as I am with the education route, I realized maybe that wasn't my passion and maybe education is. So, yeah. yeah I wanted to introduce, we've got Linda Hi. Battles. She's, she's in the house, as they used to say. <laughs> I'm, I'm... Hey, Bianca, it's so great to meet you. I'm Linda Battles. I'm the regional director for uh, WGU Texas. And so oh. I want to, first of all, apologize on just Charging in here like this, but oh, no, it's I fine. have some I, I have some really great news to share with you. Yeah. You have been selected as oh. a recipient of our ten thousand dollar scholarship in oh my celebration gosh. of our tenth anniversary as a state affiliate in Texas. Congratulations. Wow. <laughs> Thank you so much. We were so taken with your application and the fact that you, um, you know, you want to go into the teaching profession. And I loved yeah. what you said about adjusting to every individual child's learning abilities. So we're just so excited and very happy to be able to support you in this way. And we're so excited Thank about you your so future. Much. Yeah. Thank you. Oh I'm gosh, so I cried happy. too much already. No. <laughs> I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Well, so you're very deserving. Thank you.